Hi, it's Jason Everett again, and welcome back to another video newsletter where we're unpacking and debriefing all of the different sales dogs breeds. In Blair Singer's book, Sales Dogs, You Don't Have to Be an Attack Dog to Be Successful in Sales, he talks about what are the five different dog breeds. He talks about uh, being a pit bull, poodle, chihuahua, basset hound, and golden retriever style salesperson. And if you understand not only what type of salesperson you are, but what type of salespeople you have on your team, it'll not only help you manage them and, and understand what their expectations are, but it'll help you coach them and guide them and put them in front of the right customers that are most appropriately matched for them. And today's uh, sales style that I want to talk about is called the Basset Hound. Now everybody loves a Basset Hound. You picture the big droopy eyes, they look at you in the face, and they, they, you know, they just have this amazing impact on your heart, right? And so what the Basset Hound style salesperson does the exact same thing, is this is the person that if they were to bust out their wallet, they got pictures of their kids, they want to tell you about baseball and basketball and football, they want to tell you about all the activities that their kids are doing, but not only do they want to tell you about what their kids are doing, they look at you and they remember everything. Okay, I remember I used to work with this guy, his name was Dale, hopefully he's not watching this video, but his name was Dale and he was exactly this type of salesperson. It's like every time I met him, he knew everything there was to know about every client, customer, service, whether they were a client and they actually bought from him or not. His main goal when he sat down with somebody was to understand everything he possibly could about this client. And he always used to have this big stack of business cards on his desk that he was, he was holding on to very tightly because he, he knew that these guys were going to one day, if he just loved on them so much and gave them everything he could, that one day they would turn into customers. And I will never forget, he walked over to my desk one time and hands me a couple of cards and he goes, Jason, these are the best cards in my entire stack and I know that if you just nurture them a little bit more, they'll turn into clients. Now, I call them up, and I'm more of the, the uh, pit bull style salesperson. Look, you're either a client of mine or not. I, I just don't have the time to deal with it. And that's not a bad thing. It's just my own unique style, right? And so anyway, I called up these clients, and they, every single client that I called, they were like, that guy has been calling me for years. I have no intention of doing business with him, and he always wants to know about my kids and about my family and whatever, and you know what? I'm just not that interested. Now again, being a totally different style salesperson, I went, well, you know what, thank you for your time. Uh, I appreciate it. If there, that ever changes, please let us know. And I moved on and I went on to the different uh, two other clients that I was able to close and do business with. But the reason why I bring that up is the challenge with that style salesperson is oftentimes they will hang on to clients for too long. So if you've got one of those hanger on clients, they've always got clients but they're never closing any business, it might be time to shove a little uh, incentive their direction and help them to get uh, underway with those clients and customers. So again, all of the different dog breeds are unique and special and if you understand what type of dog breed you are and who's on your team, you can do something about it. If you want more help about identifying your own team specific dog breeds or if you want to get on the phone with us and have us debrief your entire team on what type of dog breeds they are, give us a call at our office at 916-258-5852 and we'll set up a free 30 minute diagnostic session where you guys run your team analysis and then we'll debrief it for you and help you understand what you can do to make your team even better. So that's it for me on this week's video newsletter. Have a great week.